Hi guys, I'm super excited because, oh goodness, my two most awaited David Austin Rose order just got delivered. Guys, these two roses are so popular out there for their beauty. You want to guess which one I got? Without further ado, let's get into it. So where is the scissor? Two bare roots here, and this one is Spirit of Freedom, a David Austin Climber Rose, bred in the UK in 1998, and released in the UK, if I'm not mistaken, in 2002. Uh, she is named for the Freedom Association, which campaigns for the preservation and extension of freedom in Britain. So. This one is heavily petaled. I believe this rose has a record of 200 petal counts, topping in that category. And what is promising about this rose is so far, according to the research, it is exquisite. It has exquisite cupping and beautifully arranged petals. And my only hesitation of this one is that she could get large, but knowing that in my zone, we do have a uh, temperate summer so hopefully i could control her size by pruning technique and i'm planning of potting her so oh la la <laughs> guys <gasps> evelyn <gasps> super duper happy finally i got my hands into her she is very popular out there and sadly david austin just stopped selling this i feel such a lucky duck i got evelyn finally uh, getting my hands into this rose is so tiny because david austin sadly just stopped evelyn rose so evelyn it says it's a better suited to the warmer climates of the u.s where it grows well so maybe this review triggered the decision but the blooms, you guys, are particularly large and most attractive. The petals being beautifully arranged. The color is glorious, soft, apricot, sometimes tinged with soft pink. I've been seeing a lot of pictures out there. And yeah, uh, this could uh, perform differently, just like uh, the rest of the other kind of roses. Uh, depends on your uh, condition, depends on your climate. Uh, we do have different uh, situations, and I, so uh, I hope it would thrive in my space. So you guys, uh, check for crown gall. Uh, make it sure that you don't uh, have any of those. It's a whole, totally whole different topic, but it's one of those things that you really have to uh, make sure you don't have it in the roots because it spreads, it could infestate and affect all the rest of your Rose's collection. So, yeah, it's a happy day in my house. Since I still have some few roses I want to get, might as well I'll show you how I do it online. I just go to David Austin website, Emily Bronte. I've been looking, watching for this rose for a while now. So, let me go ahead and order her. Yeah, she does look beautiful. I love the color of this one. Look at that. Woohoo! Then, Eustacia Bai. This one was released last year in the US, and I've been seeing lots of good reviews out there she is not one of those cop kind of rose but i like the coloration i think 
So let me add her in my order as well. And then Alnwick, Alnwick Rose. I don't know how to pronounce this one. Alnwick. Yeah, I love this one. It's a medium size of a bloom according to the website. But I think I really like the cupping and uh, the soft kind of orangey kind of pink. And then I've been looking forward for Charles Darwin as well. This one also is a popular out there or has a very surprising uh, characteristic where the color changes uh, depends on the climate. I think she is yellow when it's warm and in the cooler climate she changes to kind of pinkish or kind of apricot or the other way around. Either ways, I'm getting this roses here, soaking the berries, and I also bought two David Austin roses from local nursery. I got Golden Celebration and Carding Mill.